Jacob. Carmen Norris. Hey everybody, Tim Norris here, or you can call me Gray Elephant. Today we're going to be talking about Takenoko, and this is brought to us by Asmodee, Bombix, and Matagot. At the start of your turn, you roll the dice to see what kind of bonus you get that round. You might get an extra action, cause bamboo to grow, take the same action twice, scare the panda into eating bamboo, or get a special tile to place on the board. Next, you choose which actions you're going to take on that turn. You might place a tile on the board, gain an irrigation piece, move the gardener in order to grow bamboo, move the panda in order to eat bamboo, or take an objective card. This is, is like a panda game and I really like it that when you like move the panda and there's bamboo where you move it, then like you get the piece of bamboo. The components in Takenoko are just simply brilliant. I love them. Between the cute little panda bear, the gardener, uh, the artwork itself, which is so inviting, the uh, bamboo, which you think about it, they could have went with just like discs and just, you know, you stack the discs on top of each other. But they created it to where this bamboo actually like plugs into one another and you grow these stalks up. Just fantastic. I love it. It is brilliant. Um, the purpose of this game is, is that you're trying to complete objectives. And there's three different ways to complete objectives. You're either going to grow the board by adding plots to the, uh, the board itself all around. You're going to be growing bamboo or you go around and eat it up. I've got to say my favorite objective is eating bamboo. You get to move the cute little panda and eat the bamboo and then your opponents get mad because they were trying to grow it. And you also get to make cute little munching sounds. On the panda game, there's another part of it I like and it's that when you move the farmer to like one of the cards say that it's yellow and with this bamboo then it actually grow all of them. Now, bamboo will grow as long as there's a water source. The center tile allows any plot of land placed around it to instantly be irrigated and allow bamboo to immediately grow. Any tiles placed further out, though, are going to require irrigation channels leading from the center tile out to them in order for bamboo to start growing on those. And another thing I like about the game is that um, you can actually grow a double bamboo. Scissorman, double bamboo. Once a certain number of objectives are completed by a player, and depending on the number of players that are participating in the game, that will signify the last round. Then every other player is going to get one more turn before the game ends. Everybody then goes through all their completed objectives, counts up their victory points. Whoever has the most wins the game. Overall, I just think this is a beautiful game. I saw it at Gen Con and I just had to play. I mean, the components are awesome, the mechanics are unique, and the munching sounds are just irresistible. That was the most fun part at Gen Con, playing this the first time. But I gotta say, as a gamer, I enjoy the game, and I'm also happy that my kids are getting to play it with us as well. It offers player interaction, luck, planning, and just plain fun. So what do I think of the Takenoko? I love it. I think this game plays just as beautifully as it looks. Um, I've played with two players and I've played with four players and really I have enjoyed every aspect of uh, game group and size. I mean, the game is just beautiful, okay? It's a lot of fun to play and it's one of those ones that it's not too heavy but yet it's given you enough strategy and uh, enough replayability that it does warrant a purchase. And we bought this game ourselves. This wasn't given to us, okay? So we're not giving a favorable review because of that. Now, I played this at Gen Con with my wife and we immediately bought it right there on the spot because we fell in love with this game. Now, this game is always gonna hold a special place in my heart because we were actually able to get our son to sit down and play the game with us. And he's seven years old and we all know as gaming parents how difficult it can be to get our kids to want to play some somewhat heavier, more complex games, right? This isn't necessarily heavy, but it is for a seven-year-old. And he was able to sit down, and he was able to play with us, and he was able to make up his own mind on, and make his own decisions without a lot of coaching. So overall, Takenoko, not just for families, but I think just even for gamers, it definitely fills a role in any collection. It's a game I highly recommend, and I love it. Did I win on it? You came in second. You beat Mommy, member. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and tell everybody. Um, hi, I'm 
it's Jacob, and um, about the panda game, I'm actually very good at it, but I'm good at being second, and seriously, that is like a master on the board thing, seriously. Well, I mean Tim, I mean, because he's my dad, seriously. Griffin Gaming, from new releases to pre-orders. Griffin Gaming, enter in promo code GREYELEPHANT for 5% off your order.